everyone, this is Vanessa Gertman from Alpha's Cast. Welcome back to the Fireplace series. Today we're going to add some tests for creating projects. The routes we're going to be testing are these two right here, create and store. Let's get started. I'm going to start by copying the project list test, and our new one is going to be called project add test. And I'm going to delete everything but the very first function. Let's start by testing this create route first. And we know that all of our routes in here require authentication. So let's start by testing that. And they should be redirected to the login page if they're unauthenticated. And we should go to the login page. Let's run this. And there we go, it passes. Now let's check the other half of that, that an authenticated user can access the ad route. This time we need a user, which we're going to get from the factory. We're going to be acting as a user. Let's go and look at the controller to see what should happen when we're not redirected. You can see it's just supposed to render this view, so we can check that. So the view should be projects underscore new. All right, let's test this. Good, that passed too. And really, that's all we need to test for this create route. You can see it's pretty simple. Let's move on to store. Just like our first route, we need to check that if you're unauthenticated, you get redirected. So this time we're calling a post on slash projects. Let's run this. And now the test failed. Let's look at the stack trace and see if we can figure out why. Okay, so right here you can see we've got a token mismatch exception and the verify CSRF token failed. That makes sense. We're not actually sending a CSRF token, so that's why it failed. Luckily, there's a Pulsar function we can call to make it so that way we don't check for that token in test mode. So we're going to add that to our given section. Let's try this again, and now it passed. Great. Let's take a look at our project controller and see what we should test first for the store function. If you look here, you can see we're using this create project guard, which requires there to be a title that's length eight, and a description is also required. So that's a couple things we can test right now. Let's start by checking that the title is required. So for this test, we need our user. We got that CSRF middleware again. And now we need to pass in a description and not a title. We're gonna use the rest assured function form param to do that. And the parameter name we wanna pass is description. And for the value, we're just gonna use faker. All right, now we need to check that there is an error for title. And there shouldn't be one for description. Okay, hey, let's run this. Okay, great, that passed. Let's test the other requirement for title, which is that it's at least eight characters long. So this time I am gonna pass title, but we're gonna make it too short. And it should have the same error, so title and description should not have an error. Awesome, that passed. Now we're going to test that description is also required. Paragraph is too long for a title, so let's go with sentence. This time title should have no errors, but description should have errors. Okay, great. Now that we've checked all of the error cases, let's check that with the right parameters, the project does get created. This time I'm gonna set up the title and description outside of our given clause. That way we can check them in our assertions. And then we'll set them in the form parameter, just like we did last time. Great, now we want to check that the project is actually in the database. So let's grab that. All right, now let's check that the project is what we expect. So it shouldn't be null. 
And the title and description should match what we put passed in. All right, let's run this and it passed. Okay, great. So that now that that passed, let's check what else is going on in here. Let's see in our project controller, we're also creating an activity. So let's make sure that that got created too. Let's get the activity. All right, so this shouldn't be null. And also the user ID should belong to this user. All right, and one more thing I wanna check about the activity is that the payload matches, which it should be this right here, map of action, create action, and the project title. I'm gonna copy that from the controller. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. All right, that passed too. If we look at the controller again, the very last thing I want to test is that we get redirected to projects.list. So I'm going to copy this last test. All right, now we're just going to check our redirect. Let's run this one. Awesome, that passed too. And I think this is enough tests for these routes. So that's where we're gonna leave it for today. And actually this is the end of the fireplace series. There are definitely some more tests we could add for the rest of the project, but I think the ones we have written should be enough for you to be able to finish them on your own. Thank you so much for watching this series. I hope it was helpful and gave you a good introduction to using Alpus. Catch you in the next video series.